<laughs> I had a really intricate info in info tromo blah blah blah. I'm in a really good mood today. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to episode number sixteen. So now that you've had a little taste of Bud Light, ha 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 ha. I thought it was funny, anyways. Let's go check out what I said we were going to. Looks like the frame rate is sticking, uh, sticking solid here. I'm gonna play this episode. Oh. I got stuck on something. That was weird. I'm going to play this episode in third person. Um, I'm going to drop the trivia on you guys a little bit early today and see what you think. Do you guys playing the... Uh, do you guys like playing in uh, third person or... Uh, or first person better? Um, and Skyrim, I, ex I really exclusively played in... Uh, third person like that was all I did I did not play in uh, first person at all and I think it was because I used the bow and arrow I like to have like uh, a little bit harder to aim in third person but for the most part for me I think it was just like my my field of view I like to be able to see a lot of stuff my rads are really getting up there right now Dang. Let's go ahead and go to Vat's third person. Oh, shoot. Damn it. These gunfights are a lot harder. Oh, got a wing. There we go. Okay, so. If you guys remember correctly, um. I told you that last episode we were going to go check out the uh, oh you know what I'm talking about right 50 HP holy shit um, alright we should be golden let's go ahead and wait for our health to go back up and then we are going to go check out the uh, the police station or whatever that's called quests we're gonna go to the fire support uh, let's go over to our map let's zoom out of here uh, looks like the Corvega assembly plant is the closest thing that we've been to um what was I going to say shit Oh, just remember the trivia. Um, I I played Skyrim in third person. Um, I want to give this game a chance in third person, although I like FPSs more. And I guess since Skyrim wasn't an FPS, and because you you I I like sneaking in Skyrim, so I like the like the ability to sneak and that you could like kind of peek around corners and stuff like that. I think that was really like the big factor as far as playing third person in Skyrim. Oh, that's my dog. I thought I heard knocking in my window. I sort of want to check out that little encampment over there, but we're not going to. We are going to go straight to this... Uh, Actually, you know what? We've got time. I don't think the police station thing will take very long. But then again, I don't know what we're getting ourselves into. I don't know what we're getting ourselves into over here either. So, Jailbert Brothers Disposal. Sounds like... Holy shit. Ah, ah right in front of you. Oh, I have that rifle out. I thought I had the pistol still, I thought. That's okay. I think I just shot the dog. Okay, nice. Looks like we're going to get some more rads here. Uh, not really interested. What's on this computer? Okay, so that looks like it's a... 
Iguana on a stick. Childhood of Adam. Child of Adam. I don't, I don't know exactly what that means. We just got a shitload of rads for being in there, though. What is this? Bottle cap mine? Cigarette. The cigarette machine? Really? Nuka grenade. Razor green? Yeah, no, dog. Just chill. The dog makes some really weird sounds. I'm not sure. Okay, so I don't know if I actually told you what the answer is, but the answer to the trivia question was like, what do I like to play in uh, most times? And that's third person. But if it's a first person that includes like weapons, then it generally tends to be a uh, first person. What is that? We are really high on rads. We're going to go ahead and take care of that. So this is kind of an interesting place. I don't really like it because of the high radiation. What's what is wrong with you? How you doing, buddy? Eh, never mind, boy. Alright, so the dog sounds curious still. Alright, so. Squirrel bits. Child of Adam. So I have a feeling. Holy shit! God damn it. I hate jump scares in this fucking game so bad. Well, at least you guys will have a good thumbnail. Fuck! Boom! Blow your fucking head off, homie. Ah! Oh shit. Quite a few. Get wrecked. Oh shit. Oh, that's bullshit. It's so hard to... Mouse and keyboard on this game would probably feel super, super smooth. Damn it! There. Dog, are you gonna finish him or there we go. Dog just bites him and he explodes. So that was a mine. We're gonna go ahead and back off of that. Is this really I feel like this is kind of a pointless, I mean, not a pointless settlement, but Child of Adam. You know what that reminds me of is like the people at Megaton. Maybe this is like a... Give me in this box. Maybe this is like a throwback to the people at Megaton? I don't know. So this looks like this could be the entrance. Nuka grenade I go on, on a stick. So really not much information. The dog keeps making like curious sounds, but I'm not really getting anything from him, so he has yet to really show me anything. We've been around here. So I'm gonna say this place is pretty pretty safe, I guess. Bobby pin. All right, that was a pretty good find. All right, so that that didn't really net us very much, other than some iguana on a stick, which we're gonna eat. And it is nighttime, um, which kind of makes me a little wary, I guess. But alas, we will continue. We are going to head towards our objective. 
it looks like this should be right on time so if we can save these guys in uh, in about seven minutes that would be really really nice for this episode so this is the first time that I've really that was interesting so this is the first time that we've really ventured past our little safe spot up north so I feel like we may get into some shit here I don't know we're also probably going to check out the uh, that's a ghoul we're just gonna skip past this ghoul for right now see if we can get closer to this gunfight action sounds like a lot of gunfire no, that ghoul is right over there. So the sneaking system is already much better than what was in Fallout 3 and 4. Hopefully my game is not starting to crash on me. Oh, fuck. Okay, my, I think it's the lighting. I think the lighting fucks up my game. Ow, fucker. Get down to the ground. I think, yeah, I think like really, really like heavy lighting settings really fuck me up. Damn, this guy's a hard ass. Hey. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Fuck. That's a lot of fucking ghouls. Um. I think what we're going we're gonna we're gonna change weapons for sure. Um at least I know I can get there. I feel like the power armor would be really nifty here. But we're not gonna do that yet. Maybe it is time. You know I haven't really had the power armor yet. But no, let's let's hold off on the let's see what we let's see what weapons we have. Um to be honest, it's not much. <laughs> hold on. Yeah, th this semi-auto rifle. This is the type of weapon that I'm looking for. Okay, so I may skip ahead to when we get back to that guy. Alright. I really want to upgrade this weapon. I want to get behind this guy. Let the power armor kind of tank for me. Can I help him? Alright, so it looks like we leveled up. So the semi-automatic rifle, I really like. 
see this is cool this is the kind of like fast-paced gunfight that you didn't really have in any of the other games shit we're getting more damn that asshole and I have a shit ton of ammo for this all right cool so we helped out the bros let's see what they have to say Hey, you called me, homie. I'm just trying to survive out here, like everyone else. The way you charged in and engaged those ferals, I find that a bit difficult to believe. Are you from a local settlement? Do all these questions really matter? After all, I help you fight those ferals. You make a fair point. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here is difficult. Since oh, the moment shit. We arrived in the Got some explosives. Awesome. Explosives. If you want to continue pitching in, we have some explosives. Ooh, should I do the hire me? That Let's do it. How much are you paying? So you're a mercenary. Typical. Fine. You help us, and I'll see your compensated Jesus Christ. Over Fucking there, explosions and shit. And night We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir. If I may. Proceed, Aylin. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need Damn it. Boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains... Oh, the shit. There's a guy laying there? Deep range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter... Deep range transmitter, you get it. You, right. you willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? Brotherhood of Steel. No time to waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. Alright, so that guy has some pretty cool armor. Let's check. Okay, so fire support is what I just completed. Cool. I got stuck again. Alright, so fire support was a cool quest, even though I died once. Um, so this town... It, okay, so... I don't know what to say exactly. This has been a cool episode. Episode 16. Um, it looks like... Basically, we're at the Brotherhood's main base or something. Hollow tag, laser rifle. Nice. All right, so it looks like we did a fairly good job here. Okay, so let's take a look inside here really quick. This will be before we end episode number 16. I think it was just a car that exploded. Hopefully anyway, because that's, that's some heavy shit going on out there. Just remember the trivia is which do I like to play in, third person or first person more. And I prefer third person if it's viable. Um, so she's a doctor. Can I get on here? It's far proceeded to perform a standard long range. Usual activity, extract time to be undetermined. That sounds pretty... I don't want to look through all of those. Gladius's personal status. That's just on people. So that... Why are you cutting me so much slack? I, uh, I joined the Brotherhood not too long ago. I used to be like you, wandering alone. So I know what it Those goggles, like though. You bump into what are those? Look, it may not seem like it, but Dance is a good man. He's just all soldier. Protocol is his bread and butter. And Reese? Well, 
Let's just say he's as hard headed as a Mr. Gutsy. So you know what? Not the I Mr. Gutsy, of son of a bitch. And that's hard to come by nowadays. Who are you? Whoa, fucker. Why are you so angry with me? I'm not angry. <laughs> Why are you so angry? You're hired help, and that's all there is to it. Is there any way to earn your respect? Do what you're told. Keep your head down and your mouth shut. Now, why don't this you guy's got like crazy eyes. I don't like it. Else. This guy's kind of a prick. I don't really like him that much. Oh, shut up. I'm I'm the motherfucking guy that ran in here and saved everybody. I get to, oh shit. A little bit of frame rate issues. You fuckers. Be it coming in here like, oh what a dick, he came and saved us. Man, fuck you. Let's come up here and whoop that ass. What I should have done, should have shot you fools instead. I'm salty. Let's see what's see what's up here. Anything interesting? Oh shit. The frames the frames are taking a hit right now. I'm sorry guys. I'm sorry. Eee, that's a little laggy. It's a little more laggy than I would like it to be. But I think it's gonna be okay. Oh, Spot for a helo. That's kind of cool. I like these lights. I like that that like just a big signal. Oh, I thought my game crashed. All right, let's go talk to Paladin real quick. Let's go ahead and go down this rabbit hole just a little bit. See, see what happens. I didn't expect this for us to join like the Brotherhood of Steel so quickly. So let's let's take a look at the rest of this place. If this guy doesn't can it, I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna beat his ass. The atmosphere in this place is amazing. I feel like half scared, half like really excited. Is that sunglasses I saw? <gasps> yes! I need sunglasses. Patrolman sunglasses, ladies and gentlemen. Babaldin! I'm a fucking G. No, my sunglasses aren't here. That's a thumbnail if I ever saw one. I don't know. I thought about uh, mm, that's a Calander. I don't know what that's, that is. Uh, let's just make sure we get everything. I'm going on a stick in a box. It makes sense, right? Right? if here we go this guy is just negative Nancy isn't he he just can't hang with the end of the world like I can fancy hairbrush so as soon as I search this place, we're going to end the episode. I'm not going to talk to Paladin What's-His-Nuts just yet. Military fatigues. Handcuffs. A visor. Suspenders and slacks. No thanks. More handcuffs. There's a lot of shit in here. It's kind of hard to look. I'm going to switch to... Uh, I can't. 
I can't switch to third person. First person. I don't know why. I think all this stuff is good in here. It's kind of hard to move my guy. What is that? Operation Winter's End. Alright, let's check out the basement. Cambridge Police Station Motor Pool. Let's all right. Let's check this out. This will be the last place. Hopefully, it doesn't have fucking ghouls or some bullshit in here. Oh shit, we are. All right, this is running. This episode is running really long. I just realized that I'm really, really sorry about that. Um, I did level up. We're gonna check all this stuff out tomorrow. There's a power armor station. Looks like this should be a new place of like homage, I guess. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, the trivia was uh, on the first and third person, which do I like more? And it is third person. All right, so we are going to save it right here, and I'll catch you guys on episode number 17. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Make sure that you stay tuned. Uh, I'll be picking a winner. I don't know when this video comes out, but I'm picking a winner very, very soon. So stay tuned, guys. Peace.